we're on the Samyang 14 millimeter f 2.8 it's not fixed 2.8 aperture it's variable you can change it with the ring so it's a fully manual lens that's right that's right we're going manual we're braving it like in the words of camera conspiracies there's a six percent chance that i'm in focus right now we'll take those odds fun times this is nearly the perfect vlogging setup camera lens microphone we're nearly there the canon r6 brilliant apart from catching fire it's brilliant it's fantastic it's good you've got that five axis in body stabilization eight stops of stabilization in there nearly with the canon r6 you got 4k no crop and we've got we've got c log if we want it although the files are massive and my computer can't cope with them We've got 120 frames per second in 1080p. If we need it, we want to use it, we can have fun with that, that's good. We've got a flippy screen. We've got a microphone input. What else have we got? It's just a damn good camera. I've had no overheating issues myself, no problems with it. Once, I tell a lie, once, when I was shooting um, C-Log 1080p, 120 frames, I did a whole section, and I'll link it up above a video, when I first got the camera of Jake playing football, it overheated then, but it, I had the warning, it didn't actually overheat, I had the warning that it was overheating. Lens, Samyang, 14 millimeter, it is manual. Autofocus version, they do do an RF autofocus version, and it's double the price, nearly more than double the price than I paid for this. I got this on Amazon Warehouse, the manual. It was 223, I think I paid for it. Yeah, 223, brand new, 360, about that, manual for the manual focus. 599 for the EF version, and then 629 for the RF version, autofocus. So it's a good value lens. It's wide, you don't have to hold it out i've literally just got my elbow against my body now just to for a bit of support so we're not out here we're not vlogging like that which is good we can actually hold the camera out like that there's a jogger coming i'm gonna stop recording if it was busy i wouldn't but it's not so i am where was i lens so there's there is a price difference between the manual and the autofocus let's just bump the aperture. It's a good thing. I like the fact it's like having a control ring on there. It's a little bit more where so. Okay, we're good. We have got that I've noticed a bit of warped top corners because it is it is so wide. It is ridiculously wide. Let's let's admit it. I wanted a wide angle lens that was cheap. I didn't want to spend the 2000 pounds on the 15 to 45, which, you know, I just wasn't gonna do that. So I wanted something, I was looked around, I hunted, I was searching the internet and there's a lot of lenses out there. Ones that I just didn't fancy, like the 17 to 40 Canon. I didn't fancy that one as a car now. Didn't fancy that one, the L lens version, ah, I don't know, I didn't, it was expensive anyway. The 16 to 35 was my other option. I looked at that second hand about a thousand pounds still a lot of money just for a wide angle vlogging lens really which is what it was going to be i would use it for the studio but the other reason i wanted a really wide angle lens was for the studio for like a unbox therapy style sort of scene there's there's plenty of other lenses am i in focus still there's plenty of other lenses that i was looking at None of them really in my price budget, let's be honest at the moment, Christmas just gone, there's always something to pay for, so I didn't really want to fork out a thousand pounds on a wide angle lens, which was really for only specific reasons. We went for the Samyang, we went for that, it, and to be honest with you, very honest, I'm quite impressed with it to be honest. To be honest, there's that too many honest. Manual focus, really, from what I've used it for in the studio and out now, isn't really a problem especially when you're just vlogging with it because it's sort of only a 2.8 for a start so that that sort of that depth of field that shallow depth of field 
the narrow field of view isn't that narrow. I can go forwards and still be in focus, sort of, and I can come in and be in focus like that. So there is a little bit of play when it comes to using it as a vlogging camera. I haven't got to mess with the uh, focus all of the time once I set it up. I usually hold it at the same sort of length. So we're sort of okay. Are we? Let's check. I mean, it's close enough. Um, so yeah, that. Godox microphone. I'm doing a review on that. It might have come out before this video. It might not. But just I'll link it up above it if, if it has. Great microphone, I think, because I haven't edited the video yet, but we'll find out. Oh, just as good as the Rode Video Micro, so that's on top of the camera. And then we're very close. We're very close to being the perfect vlogging setup. It's a little heavy. The lens itself isn't that heavy. It's quite a light lens. It's it's the good. The build quality is good, but it's plastic. You've got a metal mount, so the actual aspherical lens of the front does bulge, bulge out a little bit, so that adds a little bit of weight. So yeah, it's a little bit heavy. The Canon R6. Man, I don't know if it's a vlogging camera. I'm hand holding it at the moment, and I mean, 4K, 25 frames per second. What does it look like? Well, how's the stabilization? Stabilization turned on only in body, not IS enhanced or anything like that, just in body stabilization. So, I'm guessing it looks good. I'm guessing it looks all right. 4K generally does. Is this the perfect vlogging setup? No. I've got a camera that has arrived today, which I'm excited about. It's one I've been meaning to buy been putting off buying for a long time and it's come today so you know subscribe stay tuned so yeah we're very very close very 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 close to the perfect vlogging setup it's a little bit heavy I've been filming for about seven or eight minutes now and it's heavy on the arm I need to do some more press-ups and stuff if I'm gonna have to vlog with this all the time but we can change arms and it, it's close it's it's closer than I've been in the past, I think. I've used the Canon M50 for a long time with the Sigma. Just wasn't wide enough, didn't look good. I mean, it looked good. Don't get me wrong, it looks good with the F1.4, the Boca. You know, it looked good, but this is, this is close. We're getting there. We're nearly there. Okay, so that was it. A little walking and talking video again. Hope you uh, agree with my thoughts. Let me know what camera you're vlogging with, what camera you're using on a daily basis. This at the moment is my daily driver and I can see it being my daily camera for definitely a few years to come, that's for sure. So uh, that's it for this video. Nearly the perfect setup. Nearly. Heavy, heavy. So that's it. Until next time, you know what to do. Sub, bell, thumb. See you on the next one.